launched, Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper spoke to GB News about her plans to cut migration. So we want to bring net migration down. It has trebled under the Conservatives over really a very short period of time. We're also clear to set out some practical ways to do that because we know one of the biggest issues has been the big increase in overseas recruitment because there's been a complete failure to tackle skills shortages, to tackle training issues here at home. So we want to link the immigration system to new requirements on training, to new requirements on skills. And I'll just give you one example that I think sums it up, which is that engineering visas have near doubled in the last few years. Engineering apprenticeships have near halved. That is a system that is not working. OK, that's the Shadow Home Secretary. Let's cross live to GB News political correspondent Catherine Forster, who has been at the event in Manchester for us. Uh, Catherine, now an empty looking room, but what was the mood like when it was packed with the Labour activists? Buoyant, frankly, Tom and Emily. You know, we had the Barbie music playing when the Shadow Cabinet took their seats and then Keir Starmer was given a rock star welcome. And, well, they might welcome him like that because three weeks today, people will be going to the polls. And short of something absolutely unforeseen and catastrophic for the Labour Party, a week tomorrow, Sir Keir Starmer is likely to be our next Prime Minister. So, sure, there's cautious here they're being careful but they are feeling very confident and I think really you can sum up the, the whole manifesto simply in this image and this one word of change change it's written absolutely everywhere because they feel that so many people after 14 years of as they put it conservative chaos have simply had enough and are ready to give labor a chance now the manifesto about 133 pages dozens of pictures of Sir Keir Starmer looking authoritative and prime ministerial even here we go. He's at uh, the D-Day commemorations talking to Vladimir Zelensky when, of course, we know that the current prime minister was not there. He was asked about um, the manifesto not having any real surprises. And he said, um, look, it's not about rabbits out of a hat. This is not a pantomime. Um, I'm running as a candidate to be prime minister, not a candidate to run the circus. So he's having none of this argument that he's a bit dull, it's all a bit boring. Um, we know there's about eight billion pounds of tax cuts coming he says there's no return to austerity but i have to say um, according to the fiscal rules that the conservatives are adopting and that labor are adopting too there's going to be exceedingly tough choices for any incoming government tax rises cuts to un uh, unprotected public services like the courts, like local councils, etc. Um, you know, so whoever gets in, there is going to be a, a very difficult months and years ahead. So the change that Labour are promising and the growth that Labour are promising, we're hearing that again and again, aren't we? Wealth creation, all about growth. We used to hear a lot of that from Liz Truss, but of course we know growth takes a very long time to develop. It's not something that you can just click your fingers and magic up. Baby, you can find me under the lights. Diamonds under my eyes. Turn the rhythm up. Don't you want to just come along for the ride? Ooh, my outfit's so tight. You can see my heart beats tonight. I can take the heat, baby. Best believe that's the moment I shine. Ooh, uh... It's not exactly things can only get better, is it? You know the Barbie soundtrack just as well as I do, Tom, my goodness. Um, no, it's not. That wasn't the music for Sir Keir Starmer. I have to say it was the Shadow Cabinet, You're a but it just um, struck me. I can't remember what the, uh, what the music was for Sir Keir, but, yeah, the, the mood here, they are very optimistic. And, you know, they've been okay. out of power for 14 years. They think... They think they're going to get back in. OK, well, thank you very much indeed, Catherine Forster, political correspondent there in Manchester in a now empty room. Um, that was quite the performance, Tom, there. Uh, it was a dramatic reading. Of a dramatic Julie reading.